Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, support page. Also, uh, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So, here we go. Button class. Yo, what's going on? We got all this button stuff going on. Uh, I can render it and all that. Today, we're just going to work on the update function. So, the idea is to have a button handler. I don't like calling them handlers. I don't like all that. Maybe a button container. So if you want in a state, for example, main menu state, uh, we create a button a container, which is just going to take care of all these buttons. We're going to give the button some name, some names, and then we're just going to update them. So and then we're just going to check all the time if these this uh, specific button is pressed or not and all that stuff. So we, d we don't have to have kind of an array of buttons and we can just add buttons quickly. We could do that or we could just have an array of buttons. We'll see how that works out. We'll start off with the simple array and I'll think about it. Okay, uh, but let's just go ahead here. So this is basically the hover thing here. Um, so this will be hover. But before we start off, uh, I got to I got to create some Boolean, some core functionality. Okay. And it should be above everything basically. So bool pressed and bool hover. Okay. So we're going to have these two things here. Or should we have one which just tells us the state? Just tells us the state. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create an enum here. I'm going to call it button states. Okay. And we're going to say button pressed equals zero. And then we're going to have btn hover and then btn um, pressed idle. Or should we have this the other way around? I think idle should be first btn idle okay so idle means nothing's happening hover button pressed okay so we have this one state and we're just going to call it short unsigned button state okay and we're probably going to start that off at zero so this button whoops button state equals btn idle at zero um, so there we go so that button is idle from start now hover we're gonna say this button state uh, equals btn hover all right this button state equals btn idle at the start here because if nothing none of this ever happens um, it will just keep being idle basically uh, so it's idle if any of this happens we'll switch it so if it contains that's fine uh, if sf mouse is button pressed sf mouse left so if we click it if we click it uh, we're gonna say this button state equals btn active no uh, btn pressed I guess something like that I don't know what the hell is going on dude why am I pressing fat fingering and everything there we go okay so hover pressed and then idle so that's cool. So it will be pressed and all that stuff. That's fine. Um, cool. Cool, cool. I, I like this. I like this. Um, so pretty much, pretty much what we could do, what we could do is we can make a switch case here. So I'm just thinking what is less expensive to every iteration change the color in here or use a switch statement hmm i could do a switch statement here just because we're so cool probably very very dumb 
and not really necessary, but we'll just say this button state, and then we'll say case break, and this case is going to be button idle. We're just going to copy this whole thing, uh, button hover. So we can do different things in the switch case uh, depending on what we're doing. Pressed. Should I call this active instead? Since I have color active. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to go through all that trouble? Yes, we are because it's my channel. Active. And in my channel, we do random dumb shit. Uh, so there you go. Okay, button active. That wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. I'll just copy this, paste that in here. Okay, cool. There you go. Am I even recording? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. Uh, there you go. So now we have a bunch of shit going. And at idle, I'm just going to say this shape dot set fill color. Uh, this idle color. Easy peasy. Okay. So just going to set that in. Paste that into all of these. And just change this. So hover color active color see now these two match see 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 so that's perfect perfect there you go so now we have a bunch of shit going on um and yeah yeah and this basically just switches it up and this is um hmm, very random so if this happens i'm just gonna set this to sf color red it should not happen but it probably will because my program and they always crash so we'll see uh, so there you go so now we got this update function it will run it will chug it will chug for every button and it will kind of check all of these things the switch case make sure that um hopefully we don't go through everything we'll see i'll read a little bit more see what's more effective uh, anyway so we have the update and the render now we're gonna need actions and then we're gonna need accessors okay and these are basically just going to return our a boolean depending on our uh, where am i let's just close all this down just for now uh, it's going to return a boolean depending on what button state is okay so i'm just going to get set bool uh, cost bool get state get button state or hmm is pressed we could do that we could do is pressed if we have a press on it or not uh, if pressed const most probably um, why am I doing this here it should be in here accessors there we go so is pressed um, please please bruh there we go so there it is we're just gonna do a little simple if statement if this button state equals if this button state equals uh, da, 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 what's it called button active then we will return true if this button state is button active, we'll return true, else we'll return false. Very simple, very, very simple. So this is just going to make sure we'll check if it's pressed or not. Hmm. Okay, I do I do like the simplicity in that. I hopefully, hopefully that is what we want. Now, it did include button in main menu set, so I'm going to just include or open these up again. Uh, we have variables here in the main menu state. Don't worry too much about it. Let's just... We did we did actually load a font here. Am I... It was it was a while ago I worked on this. I know you probably watched the video yesterday. And you're watching this, you're like, what? What do you mean, long time ago? Basically, I create a lot of videos. There you go, there's the font. I make a lot of videos beforehand, and I just put them on a, on a schedule to be uploaded, all right? So Because I don't always have time to make videos. So that's why... Actually, when you're watching this, it's been a while since I made the made the video. Um, probably. And I haven't worked on it for a while. But we do have font. What I want to do is I'm just going to create a test button here. 
uh, game state button. I'm just going to call it game state button for now. And we don't have a default constructor. I'm just going to make that a pointer for now. Someone asked me if you, you can have this pointer symbol on both sides. Yes, you can. It doesn't really matter if it's here or if it's here. Uh, just make sure it's between these two thingies right here. Uh, now, game state button. Go into main menu state. Open the destructor and the constructor. Right in here. Right in here. I'm just going to say this. Uh, how do you do this damn thing again? Game state button equals new button. And here is where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. That's where it happens. But first, I'm just going to make sure I delete this game state button because I don't want to get a memory leak. Uh, but here we go. So the position is going to be screen. Is there any type of uh, this? Ah, we don't need it centered. Let's just set it 100, 100. Doesn't really matter. Um, the width and the height. Maybe the width is going to be 150, 50, probably. Um, the font, this font. And just the address to it because it's a pointer, probably. Uh, the text is going to be start game, probably. Or new game, something like that. Uh, idle color, SF color, um, grew, nah, SF color. Let's give it a color. 50, no, 70. 70, 70, 200. And then we're just going to make some more colors here. This is all the text stuff and this is all the color stuff. There we go. So I'm just going to paste these in. That's the idle. This is the hover. And this is the thing. So hover is going to be about 150. 150, mind you. Uh, like that. And the active is going to be pretty much, pretty much, let's say 20, 20. 20 and the hover is going to actually make it completely completely opaque um this looks this looks pretty nice this looks pretty good okay so there we go now we got a button class or button object ready let me run this make sure it crashes because it probably will just to get that crash out of the way okay main menu state compiled it compiled it did. It did compile. It did compile. Okay. 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 I'm liking this. Okay. I'm liking this. I pressed escape and we and we pushed out. Uh, that's great because we probably in game dot cpp probably probably in init states. I'm only pushing main main state. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So that's cool. We're good. Doesn't really matter. We got the button. It's going to update. And this is where we do this. Uh, game state button update this mouse post view is what you want mouse post view okay and update mouse positions is a function from state like we saw in the last video uh, it updates all the mouse positions depending on the mouse in the window and then render we're going to render the background and we're going to do target uh, no, this game state button render uh, target. Okay, okay, good shit, good shit, good shit. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's just see before we end the video if this actually pops up here. Oh, 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 I like this. I like this. That's real. That's real nice. And we can click it, and we can click it. But the text is not showing up. And most probably, so set. we're setting the font, we're setting the string, setting the fill color, we're setting the character size, we're setting the position, but we're not rendering it. That's what we're not doing. So target, draw, draw this uh, text. Okay, make sure you draw that text out, that beautiful text out. I will just run this one more time before we end the video. Just show you that hopefully it should say start. Okay, it just says new game there, up there. Um, 
okay, I know why that is. I know why that is. Um, okay, because it sets the position to that divided. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? Just, just stay with me just for a minute. Just for a minute here. Because I kind of get why this is happening. Um, that is dumb. That is, that is hella dumb of me. So you want to put it at the position of the shape. And then you want to grab that again. And just plus shape. Plus half of that. Okay. So at the position of shape, X plus half of that. So we put it at the center. Okay, we want to make sure we do the same thing for the Y here. Just like that. Just remove this one. And switch this to Y. So there you go. Now you should be at the position plus half of it. Plus half of it. Minus the width and the height. So let's see. Hopefully this is going to work. If it's not, I'll make sure I figure that out until the, until the next video. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much not, actually. Uh, but I'll figure that out, okay? Don't worry. That, should be, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, that is dumb. Wait, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what it is? Get global bounds dot width divided by two. I'm so dumb. Get global bounds divided by height divided by two. Let's just run this one more time, please, guys. Just stick with me. Please, just one second. There we go. Now it's centered. Boom. Easy peasy. Okay. Nice, nice. Now we've got a clickable button. And it's pretty much just switching colors depending on what's going on. So that's good. That's great. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box, all that stuff. Check the code out on GitHub. I'll update it. Uh, and yeah, thanks for sticking with me. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.